The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Second and six, just inside the 30. From the gun to give to Davis. Space to maneuver at the 40. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And of course, remember back in their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. On first down, Trubisky. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. 12 more yards there and another first down. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch at all, did he? <laughs> Middle of the field diving to grab it? No, he didn't. The first down carry for Davis. 20! Touchdown, Chicago! Mike Davis, 42 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? But listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. And yeah, nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're starting to put some space here. You know, first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they've looked really good. They jumped in the saddle in a big way. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Bilal Nichols. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. On the ground, this is Williams. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. On third and long, it's Mahomes. Flush to his right. He is going to find Hill here. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Williams loses the football. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 38, Trubisky. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Go! 
Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Trubisky will come up here first and 10. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. First down, a run with Cohen. And an alley to run. He's at the 30. 10. Touchdown, Chicago. Tariq Cohen, 55 yards. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park. And I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it, let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at him. And they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Mahomes to throw. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to hold that one in. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Five, five. Pick me up. Here we go. 44, 44. Now Trubisky to throw. He goes full extension, and he's got it. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Trubisky gives to Cohen. They'll get the first down and more inside the 20. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. You, 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 you. They'll try to punch it in with Davis, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They come out here in the eye. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Another try for Davis. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Here's Davis. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. The kick by Pinheiro is good. 
And they take a 17-14 lead. They took it all the way to the one, but in the end, opt for three. Just doesn't sound right, does it? If you got all the way down to the one yard line, isn't that supposed to be a play in the end zone that culminates in a touchdown for your team? <laughs> and per usual, it felt like the guys on the sideline wanted to go ahead and go for it. Of course they did, but of course head coach, it defers back to him and he made the decision, let's get three out of this, make sure we get some points. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deeper into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. Throwing on second and long. Mahomes eluding the pressure right. And going deep for him. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Floyd. 